Hello everybody and welcome back to G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. Uh, today was RDC 2018 in the USA and during the keynote speech, David Bazuki basically mentioned some things, predictions for the next five years, so I wanted to show you these things and I also wanted to talk about these a little bit. And I also want to know what your guys' thoughts are, so let me know in the comments below how you feel about these things. So, uh, number 10 was no country with more than 50% of the top developers. So basically what they're saying is they want people all around the world developing people in, in China, in India, in the U.S., you know, every single country you can think of, you know, Australia, New Zealand, you name it, like, every single country, they want developers to be spread around the world. Uh, number nine was 100, uh, 1 million concurrent in a Roblox game. So they have had 100,000 in Jailbreak before, but 1 million concurrent players in a single Roblox game, that is pretty ambitious. So games are going to have to get super popular in order for that to happen because that's pretty much 10 times what it is right now so that would be pretty cool and i wonder what that game would be uh, a major brand releases a game to roblox as their primary platform so imagine that like there's there's like the next batman game or you know like a, a major brand instead of using unreal engine or using some of those engines that are available imagine like some really big name brand game like oh hey halo imagine halo 7 coming out in roblox like wouldn't that be crazy if the, something like that happened i mean it that's probably not exactly what it's going to be but who knows who knows so a major brand on that platform that would be pretty cool a national movie launches based on a developer's game story or avatars so imagine that like jailbreak the movie and it's based on a Roblox game. Like, wouldn't that be so cool? Or Hide and Seek Extreme, I don't know, that would probably not be too exciting, or Fashion Frenzy, it, you know, it could be something that, Fashion Famous, you know, follows the a character of somebody who wants to be uh, a, a model or something in, in Roblox, who knows, but there's definitely a lot of games there that could lead to a bunch of stories, so that is an interesting one as well. Over 50 million people will learn to code on Roblox, so, 50 million people learning how to do code that the Lua programming on Roblox that would be pretty amazing I'm not sure what the number is right now, but that would be a lot of people uh, I think they said it maybe it was like four or five million during the speech So again, that is a huge change predictions for the next five years. That would be pretty crazy That's a lot of developers. So this would have to grow big time I always thought it would be great for this to be something that is taught in schools because you know learning how to design games uh, And how to script games and how to use Roblox studio I think could be something that's beneficial and exercises uh, parts of people's minds that would be actually be beneficial, you know, moving forward. So, uh, so number five here, a hundred thousand people will watch a Roblox game stream in 3D. <clears throat> so imagine that, uh, like a game stream in 3D. That would be that would be amazing. So I, I don't know what they mean exactly, like a game stream, like one of my live streams. Or someone's streaming basically a Roblox game. I think that's probably what they meant. Uh, but they do have VR support. I've never used it myself. I would like to check it out. I've got a system that can handle an Oculus Rift. So in the future, that might be a part of my channel. Getting Oculus and getting some 3D stuff going on there. I mean, I've already got some 360 videos. So why not do, you know, 363? That would be so cool. Anyhow, 50% of the toys sold in the USA will have a Roblox scan tag. Imagine that. So basically what they're saying, like, uh, imagine you bought like a, a Marvel toy, you know, and then it's got, here's, here's a, here's a scan tag for Roblox. You go and then you scan it and then you get like an in-game item and, and you get like a, a Batman Batarang or something, or you, you go and you buy like a wrestling toy, you know, and, and you get, you know, John Cena or something, and then you can go and you can scan the toy, and then you get like a special like John Cena, you know, wristbands or something that you can you can have inside the game. So wouldn't that be cool if a lot of other companies were starting to integrate with Roblox more? And generally, as a part of his keynote, that was pretty much what he was kind of alluding to was that you know Roblox is going to be integrating more and more like there's already events that are based on movies that come out so maybe movies come out and then they're going to release a game as a part of it so uh, uh, number three is a Roblox developer earns 50 million in one year now wow look at that something in one like a developer someone in Roblox making 50 million dollars in payouts from you know the dev exchange wow Imagine that. <laughs> 
that's 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 a lot of money. So they're definitely working hard to you know advance their developers and advance their careers and make it financially worthwhile for them and to grow the platform overall. Uh, number two, hundred person company is developing on Roblox. So basically, a company of over a hundred people. Imagine like a, a company that comes together and it's it's Roblox developers and they develop games. That's and that's what they're they're company is based on you know and that would be pretty crazy you know there's already some small groups a lot of these games just think jailbreak you know was a simon and bad cc that was two people you know and a lot of games are just one person who's developed you know teams of developers can get a lot of things done now look at what happened with the egg hunt the 15 they had a team of 15 people and look at the amazing product that they created they created like one of the best, I, I think, events and egg hunts in all of Roblox. And after that, I wanted every single game to have the ability to roll and jump and dash. So I, I don't know. I think these are all really, really cool things. He did mention uh, more things about how you know they have plans for Roblox to be integrated with uh, again, like movies. You know how we've got we've got things that are based on movies, uh, having it more integrated with other things. You know, say there is a movie, and then there's a game in Roblox based on the movie. He mentioned how usually if there's a movie that comes out, they're going to have a mobile game. They're going to have, like, an iPhone game. They're going to have a game that's going to be on, on Android. Why not also produce a game for Roblox as a part of that whole marketing process? I mean, so I think there's going to be bigger companies making bigger games in Roblox, and Roblox overall is just going to be developing. And that's in the future, five years down the line. And then the number one prediction that he was putting and hoping to put is that the president of the USA will mention his or her Roblox avatar on camera. Well, I'm not going to make any comments about that one, so we'll just leave that to you guys. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. We also do live streams. We do uh, Roblox toy unboxings. I do event videos for when events come out. It's a great channel, and... Also, the community is amazing. If you come to the live streams and you hang out with the community, you will not be disappointed because there's some amazing people in there. And I would like to say the best community on YouTube and in Roblox. But, you know, maybe I'm biased. I don't think so. I think it's true. Thanks a lot, everybody, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.